Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome to my review and planner setup video for the Leuchtturm 1917. So I have not made many planner videos this year, probably only one I can think of at the beginning of the year. And that's because my planner setup is very, very simple. Like many of you out there, I have done planner setups. I have had the file of facts. I've had the traveler's notebook with different books for yearlies, monthlies, weeklies, and daily sections. I've had the Hobonichi. I've, you know, I've, I've run the gamut, guys. I've run the gamut of planners. Well, not every planner, of course. There's a million planners out there, but I've, I've done quite a few. You know, wall planners, I've created my own. A plant and for different times in my life those have been really good systems but I have found something in this book that genuinely brings me joy I'm even I'm gonna say it I'm gonna say plan a piece I know it's crazy but it's true and it's very very simple and you know there's so many bullet journalers out there and there's so many people who do great plans and they're beautiful and they're neat and they're tidy and they track things I am NOT any of those things just telling you now I'm a regular person who's not particularly tidy not particularly neat and I can't have everything in little boxes on different pages and I don't track anything because I'm just not a tracker people I'm not a tracker well, I do track some things for work, but that's kind of in a separate, separate folder. A separate, that's a separate plan. Work is a separate plan. So anyway, but it's time because I do have, I do have something to share and I do, do love this system. And if there's people out there like me who want a system that is simple, but a little bit creative, who have structure and a plan, but plenty of space to just brain dump and make mess and maybe draw here and there, then, you know, this, this works for me. It might work for you too. So come join me. Let's take a look in this beautiful, beautiful book. And you know what? On the get-go, I'm going to say now that I have enjoyed using this Leuchtturm 1917 so much that I think I'm committed. Like, I think I'm going to have one every year. I'm not, there's no going back for me. As, as I can see in the near future, I will be having one of these next year. I think, I think I just, I just always want to have a Leuchtturm. It's just that, it's that good. All right, let me show you what I do. So here is the beautiful hardcover Leuchtturm 1917. It's a five size, so about eight by 5.7 inches, embossed on the back with Leuchtturm 1917. It has an elastic and these two bookmarks, which are conveniently two different colors, a black and a stripy one. Now, if I open up the book, you will see inside that the pages are blank which is perfect for me because I have a very loose setup I don't need things to be aligned I don't need everything to be perfectly straight it's not my jam uh, sometimes I want to write a lot sometimes I want to draw sometimes I want to paint it's just always different and so I definitely need a blank book in the very front you have the name card now I've just stuck on the inside cover my yearly project planner which definitely needs updating so you have your name card and then you go to a contents page, which is really great. I don't use it. I don't need it because I don't do that typical bullet journal style. But uh, that doesn't mean I love the book any less. So there are three contents pages and your first blank page is page one. And it goes all the way to 249 pages. The paper in this book is so smooth and silky. It's thick, but it's thin. I just love it. On page number one, I've created my 2018 calendar and I've got this little post-it label to mark the page. These things are really, really good. Now I've left a blank page here just in case I needed it and I've drawn in my future log, which is essential because as I have to draw in the months, if I need to remember something for a month that isn't drawn in, it must go in the future log. So totally essential. Then I have my seasonal and moon pagan calendar because that's how I roll. Uh, my study planner for my illustration courses so I know when the projects and when the courses each begin throughout the year. And then we hit the monthly setups, which as you can see, vary a lot. Some weeks I write a lot. Some weeks I want to stick things in with matte medium. 
Some weeks I'm not writing much at all. Some weeks are really busy, you know, and other weeks I don't really need to use the book that much. And so it's essential for me to have that freedom. Sometimes I want to draw and just spend a few pages drawing things or a few pages writing things. I have learnt over time that it is essential for me to have space where I can write as much as I want or draw as much as I want. That is what I need in my planner as well as being able to create a weekly, monthly setup that works for me. In terms of art supplies, I mainly use my Lamy filled with Robert Oster ink, but I use colour pencil, acrylic paint, Ecoline brush pens. I do my setups with archival ink stamps. This Pigma Micron pen, oh man, it just glides across the paper. It's beautiful in here. These pages are so beautiful for sketching in, for writing in. I just can't get enough of this book, guys. I love it. I am going to show you guys my basic monthly setup. I always start by stamping in the dates. These are Kaiser Craft stamps. I always keep it very simple. I use bold, clear lettering and graphite black pigment ink. I've pretty much got my system down. It's kind of no mess, no fuss for me anymore. Stamping was not something that came naturally to me. In fact, I wondered what was the point because I felt like it just took me too long. But I've really come to enjoy it now because I am kind of messy at it and I see it as like another tool that's helped me to let go of perfectionism and embrace the mess. I have this great little system going on here. First of all, the month gets stamped at the top of each week and I have a scrap piece of paper which goes over the page. Every time I turn the page, I pop my piece of scrap paper in there just so that any ink that is a bit wet doesn't transfer across. Then I line up my days of the week, Monday to Thursday, so that I can do these all in one go. And you know what? It took me quite a while to get the confidence to do this. <laughs> But it's so important, otherwise the process is way too slow. You have to be able to stamp them all in one go, right? And then after I've done that, I will come back with my Friday stamp and stamp in each of the Fridays for the month of September. It's a pretty quick setup now. I've got it down so I can do this pretty fast. And then I just have to do the Saturday and Sunday stamps. And you might be wondering, why is she stamping if she doesn't really like stamping and it's a bit laborious? And the answer is because, as I said before, I need the freedom to set this up the way I need it to be set up. And uh, stamping is quicker than writing. So stamping it is. Now, this next part is what I consider the most important part of my planner. This section is at the very beginning of each month. I have aim for, and these are basically my goals. And I have Celebrate the Small Wins, and that is my review. And I've given them these titles because I feel like they're just, they're just reminding me to be a little bit kinder to myself. Sometimes goals, I can have goals that go on for three pages. And if I don't achieve them, I get stressed out. So aim for is a kinder way of, of writing down those goals. And Celebrate the Small Wins of course, is reminding me that every little bit counts. Be proud of yourself for what you have achieved today, even if it's the smallest thing. So now I would normally write the letters in with like an Ecoline brush pen or something like that. But because I'm making this video for you, I figure let's go a little bit fancy. I'm doing a little bit of a square with this beautiful burgundy color from Jane Davenport Acrylics, probably my favorite color and the unbeatable, inimitable, golden fluid acrylics, gold paint to do the numbering. It's so pretty, you guys. These two colors together, stop it. They are lush. And what the heck, we might as well have a little bit of whimsical embellishment too. Why not? We're making a video. So this is basically the extent of my setup. This is how it goes. My two most important pages, aim for, celebrate the small wins. Oh, might as well do some embellishment here as well because I've got this gold paint and I don't want to waste it. 
As you can see, my setup is pretty simple. There is just the right amount of structure for me and yet plenty of room for me to move, for me to use pages for writing or drawing, to paint or not to paint. And I am really, really happy with this setup. In fact, the happiest I've been. I think that's a lot to do with this beautiful book, The Loge Term 1917. The book feels so good in my hand. It fits in my bag. It's just all around great. And I encourage you guys to give it a go. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.